Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In this five minute tour, I just want to show you how my garden has turned into a food forest. I have plants that are eight, 10, 12 feet tall, all producing, but I am sick of it, clickbait. So I decided to pull all the weeds out of my garden. If you have clickbait examples that you see, put them in the comments. I will use them for these five minute tours. Not sure why people need to use clickbait, but I thought I would jump on the bandwagon. Let's start right over here. Because uh, this is a basic red beef steak, nothing fancy, and these are one pound tomatoes. So they are growing really, really well. I'll be doing a tomato video soon on how to grow large tomatoes. It's nothing fancy, and the whole key is going to be watering. You know, it's not the fertilizer, it's the watering. Second wave of cucumbers, things are taking over the space on the ground, trellising. Right over here, the acorn squash, the butternut squash going crazy. These are yard long beans and they are easily 10 feet tall. If we walk into here, we're gonna see cucumbers to the left, sunflowers I'm using for trellising, okra, beautiful. And I'm getting in the third wave of cucumbers. I just did a video on that. Just to keep the production going, you can see um, leaf disease on the second wave, first wave of cucumbers. It's just time to remove those and put in fresh cucumber plants. You can do that with zucchini, squash, even watermelon that you may have got into the ground late because it's so warm. They really grow quickly. These are green beans growing into the sunflower plant that seeded itself. The tower sprinkler is up and as soon as I start watering from above, rather than I usually water by hand right in the space, but July just gets too hot or I go on vacation, you end up watering everything. So the weeds really do go crazy. And that's one of the reasons I like to just water right in that space. Tomatillo's going nuts. That is asparagus in the back, just getting tall and recharging itself for next year. The tomato tunnel of eight cherry tomatoes going really well. Let's cross over to this space. This is wave two of cucumbers and they look much better. The leaves don't have that disease yet. I'll be spraying for those. Another wave of beans. They're going to be flowering soon, producing beans as I'm, you know, taking the harvest off of these. Look, here are, I think there maybe were six pole beans in here. Just incredible, incredible, incredible growth. And I just come in, grab some green beans. I got potatoes in the ground. This is the space that I've been working on. 10 foot tomatoes, large sizes. They're all gonna get harvested. And I'm gonna be doing a video again on growing larger tomatoes. But I think this is the setup that I'm gonna use next year. There's nine plants on here, a nice long single row in these two by six beds. And the tomatoes are doing well. They need to come off, make a lot of sauce. Let me walk down here and spin around. Cattle panel arch, cucumbers up the left, cherry tomatoes up the right. But I just love the growth. I am exhausted. Come August, it's August 2nd today, and I am burned out. That happens. But I'm trying to keep myself going, so the first thing I did is I decided, let me just weed everything out of here. And there's just piles and piles of weeds. But motivation then you take a look at everything you've been growing and it can give you that next burst of energy just to get through everything but I like the nine plants right in here next year I'm going to grow less tomatoes less peppers and I'm going to try and really design the garden to be an ongoing you know food factory of all kinds of different crops I have a ton but I want to want to add in more types of different vegetables and then finally, I have my final wave of cucumbers right in here. I am growing a second wave of zucchini in there. I'll be pulling out some of my other zucchini plants. And you can see the little cukes are doing just fine. That uh, dark green zucchini is going to be trellised right up that pole. All right, so put the clickbait examples that you see on YouTube down in the bottom, and I will use them in these five minute tours but I thought I would just give you a quick view of just how tall everything is growing. I'm having a lot of fun and I wish you well for 
the final month or so of your summer garden and join me. I'll be doing a whole series on fall gardening soon. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.